So I am just gonna rip the Band-Aid off. I am here to tell all of you, my wonderful co-hosts and the viewers at home that this is going to be my last season here at The View. Megan McCain is stepping down as co-host of The View. I will be here through the end of July to finish out the season with all of you, which I am grateful for. On Thursday, the 36-year-old conservative commentator announced the news that she's leaving the ABC daytime talk show after more than three years on the panel. This was not an easy decision. It took a lot of thought and counsel and prayer and talking to my family and my close friends. McCain, who gave birth to her and husband Ben Dominich's daughter Liberty in September, noted that the pandemic and quarantining in Washington, D.C. changed her outlook on a lot of things. COVID has changed the world for all of us, and it changed the way, at least for me, the way I am looking at life, the way I'm living my life, the way I want my life to look like. When I think about where I want Liberty to have her, uh, you know, first steps and her first words, um, I just have this really wonderful life here. And she went on to praise her co-hosts, Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar, Sunny Hostin, and Sarah Haynes. It is a privilege to work alongside such strong, brilliant, intelligent, incredible broadcasters like the four of you. You are the most talented women on all of television, hands down, and it has been so incredible to be able to do this with you. In fact, the daughter of late Senator John McCain and his wife Cindy said she initially didn't want to join the daytime talk show, but it was her dad who encouraged her to do it. He said that I could never give up an opportunity to work on such an iconic show and to work with Whoopi Goldberg, and he was right. It was one of the last things he told me to do before he died. Following McCain's announcement, ABC News released a statement to ET about her departure. Quote, for the past four years, Meghan McCain has brought her fierce determination and vast political knowledge and experience to The View. She recently came to us with her decision to depart the show at the end of this season, a difficult choice that she made for her and her family that we respect and understand. Please welcome our new co-host, Meghan McCain. <laughs> McCain first joined the show in October 2017 after leaving Fox News and has been an outspoken conservative voice on a primarily liberal panel. Over the years, McCain has found herself in heated arguments with several members of the panel, including Goldberg and Behar. I'm talking about, I'm talking okay, about somebody so has, much, yeah. Joy. You Traitors. missed me so much when I was on maternity leave. You missed me so much. You missed fighting with me. I did I not. You miss fighting I did with not me. miss you. But despite these on-air disputes, McCain and Behar opened up to ET in 2019 about their relationship behind the scenes and said it's nothing but love. What is the one thing you want the public to know about our relationship? That we like each other. They keep writing things about how we can't stand each other. It really hurts my feelings. It genuinely hurts my feelings because our dressing rooms are next door to each other and you and I have the same emotional reactions to things, sometimes in different ways, but we're both upset equally, the equal amount of the same things. And I wish people would give us a break. And in January 2020, McCain defended Goldberg during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. I could not do the show. Oh, if she leaves, I go. Like, Whoopi is the anchor of the show and my life there, and she always picks us up when we're down. So, wow. yeah. but if she's gone, like, she jumps, I jump. Like, Whoopi is, like, the, like, I adore her, and I need her as the moderator. And while The View never seems to disappoint when it comes to those passionate conversations, McCain told ET that's all part of the show's appeal. I think that's why people like the show is they know it's not scripted and they know it's not, we're not being phony and I'm not trying to placate to an audience. And later, she shared what it's like being the only conservative voice on the panel. I try and just remind myself that I'm representing 50% of the country. I'm representing a bunch of women even though I only have one share.